happened like that but anyway so uh, we went to the labor department and uh, i remember it was the whole day there in the labor department and uh, labor department heard our story and they agreed with us uh, that there is no uh, a discrimination case and the people from the wilmington mosque uh, their elders also came they also realized uh, that it is not uh, the um, um, uh, any racial thing happened but they request to pay one more month salary because he has to look for another job so and we we, we paid so it was ended up in a very uh, amicable way uh, so so after that in incident we develop our new constitution and um, we made lot of changes in the school my goal was always to uh, manage the school at least in break even and to find a permanent place in order to look for a permanent place we had many options uh, one of the option was to buy the house next to the mosque which we all know is it has a lot of space parking and it has about i would say um, nine or 10 rooms it was just you buy it and you start the school so and initially when it came in the market when he wanted to sell was um in early 2000 um, i would say 2002 or 3 at that time the price of the building was 120000 by the time in few years we decided to go and buy it he his his price went up to 285 uh but at that time since we realized that the trailer is not going to be continued and also we did not know whether isd uh, uh, would be allowing us to continue the uh, 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 school because there was uh, some i would say um can you stop a minute 